and welcome to Cinematic Sarcastic, the podcast that talks all things movies and television. I'm Natalie, and I'm your host. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about a new series called Becoming Elizabeth. I've watched the first two episodes. I think those are the only ones that are out currently. And I have to say, Becoming Elizabeth completely snuck up on me like a ninja, like a renaissance ninja. Um, I had seen a little bit of promo about Becoming Elizabeth, but for some reason, maybe because of the title, I'd n- I'd not seen a trailer for it. I sort of assumed it was going to be one of those like docu drama type shows, and I wasn't at all interested in it. And I happened to kind of just be sitting at home and figured, what the heck? I will turn on the first episode, and I am in love. I am so in love. I very much love period drama pieces. Uh, like Becoming Elizabeth. They are some of my favorites. Literally everything is my favorite, (laughs) but period dramas are just, I love, you know, like going to the Renaissance Festival every year. I love that kind of just transportation to another time, that, that sort of thing that can suck you out of your current life and take you someplace else. And that is really the job of movies, television shows, and that sort of thing. So I really loved The Tudors way back in the day when they did that show, but that one and most of them I feel like that center around like Henry VIII, you know, it doesn't really focus on the kids as much until, you know, further on in their life. And Becoming Elizabeth starts out really right as Henry VIII has died and Edward VI takes over as king. Elizabeth at this time would have been 15 years old, I believe. And so the show in that aspect is a little bit jarring, you know, because you get to see Thomas Seymour and Elizabeth sort of interact. And and I don't think, obviously, because this is a period drama, um, I don't think it's meant to really be Uh, accurate (laughs) to what was happening at the time because Thomas Seymour uh, in real life would have been about 39 years old and Elizabeth would have been 15 and there was a scandal between them uh, before she became queen and it's a little it's a little skeezy but in this show in Becoming Elizabeth I'm 100% here for it and I'm like a little saddened (laughs) that I guess history didn't play out differently because Tom Cullen. Oh, Tom Cullen. He plays Thomas Seymour so well. The cast for the show is just phenomenal. Um, Alicia von Rittberg, I believe is her name, plays uh, the young Queen Elizabeth. And she is a German actress that I had not seen in anything before. And she plays Elizabeth so well. Everyone is just amazing. Um, Bella Ramsey is also in this. And some of you might remember Bella Ramsey from being the badass little little girl from Game of Thrones. Um, she is a lot more sort of shy and demure in this one, uh, which I guess I wasn't really expecting because it's Bella Ramsey. You're expecting her to just come in and like, I don't know, declare herself queen and just take over, <laughs> which would not be historically accurate at all. But this show I think is really great. It... Definitely. I mean, I love period dramas. Anything that takes you back into like the Renaissance era or Victorian era, I love all of that kind of stuff. It's nice to get to see little bits of history. It doesn't even have to be realistic to me at all. Um, I think one of my absolute just love, love, love shows that has come out within the last couple of years was La Revolution, which came out on Netflix and it was like a French uh, television show about the revolution in France, but it had this sort of twist storyline to it, which you all know I love and I might do a review on that one, but unfortunately that one did not do very well. It got canceled after the first season and I... I know that there is only so much that you can do with Queen Elizabeth um, because so much of it has been done before. You know, we have the movies with Kate Blanchett, which were outstanding. So I don't know exactly how many seasons or how long Becoming Elizabeth can run, but I definitely 
definitely love it, (laughs) but I feel like a lot of these period dramas kind of don't run the test of time. You know, like Harlots, I super loved. They canceled that after three seasons. So it's it's hard to kind of fall in love um, with these shows and not be disappointed when they, you know, get canceled and go away. But definitely love it. Definitely recommend. Uh, Let me know if you are watching Becoming Elizabeth. Subscribe if you want to join the Movie Nerd family. And I hope to see you in the next episode. I'm gonna make